Here are my favourite albums from the year 2021. The crazy thing about this year in music is that we have been truly blessed. Artists who haven't released in years have released. Artists who were expected to release last year have finally released their albums. We've been amazed with some of the content that's been put out this year, but at the same time, some of it could have been better, but you know, we understand that COVID has <laughs> hit some people pretty hard, so you can understand why these things may have happened. In this video, I just wanted to go over some of my personal favorite albums from the past year, the highs and lows within them. I go by ish. Let's get weird. Vince Staples by Vince Staples was truly one of the him and Kenny Beats as a, as a production and rap duo are insane. They're truly insane. The way this album presented itself, told a story and really felt like it was from the heart was crazy. The highs on this album, I'd probably say my personal favourite tracks, Law of Averages, Lil Fade and Take Me Home. Fushi's or Fushi's vocals on Take Me Home go crazy. Next up we have Valencia by Yiki. This album has probably my favourite intro of any album ever. Lumbago, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know. But Lumbago goes crazy. He put his whole heart, soul and existence into that track. It was crazy. Yeek is goated for this genre. I'm, I'm not even too sure what the genre is, but he's still a goated artist, in my opinion. Other highs on this album include Watch Me and Valencia itself, which was released as a single before the album's release. Next up, we have by Tyler the Creator. If we're being real, Tyler is probably one of the most influential artists of the past like 10 years because look at the amount of copycats that this guy has got i feel like a good way to determine how influential an artist is is to look at how many people are copying their sound and how many people have a similar sound to them as time goes on there are quite a few if we're being honest however although tyler cemented himself as an amazing producer with eagle and just a creator in general with eagle call me if you get lost was a good follow-up but it could have been better. Granted, he made everything himself and as a musician, that's something that I cannot admire enough with him because he's done this with every single album. I personally would say that the highs on this album for me are probably Lemonhead without the 42 Doug sample. I'm sorry, 42 Doug. It wasn't for me. <laughs> Massa, simply for the line, got too much self-respect I wash my hands before I piss. That's insane. And maybe Safari as well, just to throw a spanner in the works. Alpha by Charlotte Day Wilson. This album. <laughs> you know, I actually didn't know that Charlotte Day Wilson even existed before I heard her sample on Certified Lover Boy. Drake's producer sampled. Mountains by Charlotte Day Wilson on his track Fair Trade with Travis Scott and I just had to find where this sample came from. Truly, Mountains is one of <laughs> definitely one of my favorite tracks of the year. 100 it's up there. Obviously, Mountain it, Mountains is one of the highs on that album, followed by I Can Only Whisper featuring Bad Bad Not Good and Take Care Of You featuring Sid. What I really like about Sid is how she can take a song from like an 8 to a 12 with just her falsetto vocals. I don't even know if I'd say that they're falsetto vocals, but just her vocals in general. Her features with Levin Kelly, Levin Kelly are crazy. Made For You and Do Me Wrong are crazy. Destruction for Love by Invite Only. This is Invite Only's first project, I think. I actually, I actually discovered this artist on TikTok. I, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that. I don't. I, I made a whole video about TikTok and its um, effects on the music industry. Check it out there. But if you're a fan of Travis Scott 
and you're not a fan of how he hasn't dropped anything in the past few years, you should check out this artist. If you like, he's almost like a mixture of Travis Scott and Playboy Carti together. And I'm a fan of both of those artists, so you can understand what I liked about this project. It's an EP and it's truly underrated. My personal favorite tracks are New Arrival, No Oxygen, and Euphoric Pain. If I had to pick a top three, it would be those. <laughs> alright, 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 right. okay, hey, 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 pause. Why is it, we, we need to address this. Why is it that this guy Invite seems to have 50 different TikToks, all of which have a different girl in them? I don't, I don't understand, I'm, <laughs> you're trying to collect these girls like they're Pokemons. I know what you're doing. Trust me, I, I'm onto you, bro. <laughs> Sticky Thumb by Heather. Heather are an indie band. It's basically just your standard indie album, but it's done amazingly. Like, there aren't any boundaries being pushed or anything, but everything is just... The melodies are amazing. That's all I can say. My personal favourite tracks from this would probably be When You Loved Me, Acoustic, Sex Wax, and Oida. Those are the three that I would choose, but the whole album is just full of zero skips and... Ah, uh, it's great. It's truly, it's truly something. Flower Ghoul by Deju VHS. Deju VHS is another artist I discovered on TikTok. But what I love about this artist is how he blends punk music with rap. It's amazing. I love it. It's um the first song that I ever heard by him was Uck DXD. There are tracks on this album that sound like a tantrum. They sound like someone in a dustbin just going insane with a baseball bat. But there are other tracks on this album that sound like a lullaby you play to your girl as she goes to sleep. And yet, somehow, with the wide spectrum of sounds on this album, each track fits perfectly with the rest. No two tracks are the same, yet every track fits perfectly. For the highs on this album, I'd probably say Butterfly, Ugg DXD, Flower Ghoul. Next up we have Youth by Saikai. I really do feel like I'm gonna get jumped by a bunch of these artists just because I'm mispronounced the hell out of their names. But this EP almost feels like a, like a dystopian western kind of thing. I actually, I discovered this artist for the first time this year. He's a British artist. Um, he makes music like nothing I've heard before. And that's what I love about the development of music over the past few years. There are so many new artists that are bringing in, that are bringing in so many new sounds at such a greater level than I've seen before. The highs on this EP, I would probably say, are White Picket Fence and Rat Poison. Absolutely by Dijon. Dijon is easily one of the most talented producers one of the most talented artists, writers, that I've ever had the pleasure of listening to in my entire life. The thing is, with every single one of Dijon's projects, like How Do You Feel About Getting Married and Sci-Fi One, there were tracks that stood out to me from the jump, but there were other tracks that I needed to listen to a couple more times in order to fully appreciate them. There were highs on this album like The Dress and Rodeo Clown, but at the same time there were some other tracks that I felt like I couldn't fully appreciate in the time from when it was released to the time of recording this video. But that's the case with a lot of Dijon's tracks though, so you know, I feel like this is one of those ones that needs time to marinate. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't want to make this video too long with too many projects, but at the same time, I didn't want to not mention them. So before we get into my favorite project from this year, let's do some honorable mentions. Okay, so in terms of my favorite project, this one, this one's, this one's definitely, this one's probably one of my favorite projects of all time, and it's just an EP, and it is 
EP2 by JPEG Mafia. I'm alone, I'm at my best Talking that shit, come take my breath Fake thugs with their fantasy sets They always bury the best My success killing all of my exes Stay on guard when I move through text I actually only just discovered JPEG Mafia this year and it made me discover how much talent it takes to produce experimental music but exp especially experimental hip hop music This track addresses political issues yet he infuses humour within it in a perfect way where it doesn't sound corny like if we look at some of the lines from this album it's it's crazy he has lines like <clears throat> killing yourself this ain't even love island black beautiful and i'm gifted you being white just got you that position you're not with the you're not that good at business you vague with your threats i'm direct with my pistol that's insane and that's just from one track and what i love about peggy is the way he produces mixes and does everything himself he is his own artist that it's it's my favorite project of the year 100 percent. and i'm sure my spotify wrapped say the same if not similar with all that said that was my personal favorite projects for the year 2021 if you felt like i missed anything or if you felt like i glossed over something please feel free to comment and please feel free to send me your recommendations as well i'm down to listen thank you for getting this far into the video i go by ish keep it real and i will see you later alligators